Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Brandon Clements, and today we are going to start our first tutorial together, and I'm so excited uh, because I found this really awesome uh, concept work online on DeviantArt. Uh, the artist's name is uh, 25 uh, Kartanok, and uh, they have just created this amazing uh, concept uh, with this this painting. It looks like it was done in Photoshop um, with this uh, grandfather clock, and it's kind of like this... Uh, fantasy kind of library inside of the clock hidden away, which is super cool. Um, and I love all the detail, all the greeble of the stones and the floor and everything here with the clock. So um, I thought it'd be cool if we went ahead and built this out, you know, into a scene. Um, so the tools that I'm going to be using today um, are Moto and uh, Cinema 4D to do some of the scene dressing uh, with all the MoGraph tools that they have there readily available for us. And so what I've done already is uh, you can see here in Moto, uh, I have a basic kind of scene file just set up of um, just objects. You can see with the mesh items, I have the grandfather clock, the door, the floor, and the wall. And uh, what I'd like to do for you guys today is just kind of demonstrate how I would go from like, um, you know, a concept all the way to a finished product. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's, let's check out what we got going on here. Uh, the first thing I probably want to do is start adding the hallway into the, uh, the actual grandfather clock here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these polygon faces by hitting three on my keyboard and hitting zero to jump in and out of these um, orthographic views in the model quad here in Moto. And uh, I would like to probably go ahead and draw a curve starting from this point here. And uh, we can actually turn on our snaps and I have my snaps activated for uh, grid and vertices. Uh, I'll just keep it on vertices. You can also hit the options holding alt up here. Um, you can see when I hold down all, it'll toggle and I can get to my, my settings there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here and then we'll kind of curve it out. Oh, you can see I have uh, symmetry on as well. So sorry. Let me go ahead and turn that off real quick and I'll go ahead and put my snap here and I'll kind of come out a little bit and maybe just kind of round it around this way. Uh, you know, something like this, and we can always tweak this shape later. But what I want to do is actually extrude from um, the polygons that I have selected along this line. Um, so you can see they're not all perfect here, but we can go ahead and select those guys. We don't need any of this stuff here. And we'll just bring up our scale tool and we'll go zero. Uh, in the um, in the Y and you can see I kind of brought down a vertice here. No problem. I'll just select that edge here and deselect everything else by holding control and kind of paint brushing with the left mouse button here in Moto and I'll do the same thing to the top and then I'll just bring it back up to where it was um, somewhere around there. So um, I can actually select this edge here and I got everything in the same um, mesh item as well. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit, um, something along there. And with that selected, I'll go ahead and, um, I'm sorry, I'll cl click these, select those guys, those two polygons, and then I'll uh, hold shift and I'll left click and I'll select the curve as well. Okay, and after I got those selected with the line, I'm gonna click on duplicate and then I'm gonna do a curve extrude and click there in the viewport you could see that it extrudes nicely along those lines and uh, we kind of get that uh, that ideal kind of curving around there in the viewport which looks really nice and we can come in and edit any of these as needed and it'd probably be best if we jumped into the top view and started messing around with some of these guys here and I, you can see I got my snap still on um, so I can kind of like just pull these around maybe make it snake kind of like this. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe something like that. And we'll look at it in the viewport again. Okay, great, yeah. So we're getting that kind of curve um, interest way. Actually, I'm gonna try to do it just a little more extreme because um, it kind of almost looks like a centrium kind of thing, like where it kind of just, it's way extreme. And I, and I love using the tools here in Moto for the modeling because it's, it's pretty great. You can see I can have a lot of fun just kind of fleshing out how I want this curve to actually look. So maybe something like that. And uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's looking really cool. Uh, so I like that a lot. 
and um, I can go ahead and pick up those floor polygons if I want to. And um, what I want to do is, um, I, I don't actually need these back faces here on this hallway. I can delete those, but I need to get these floor polygons. And I'm just kind of paint brush selecting, holding shift and left clicking um, here in Moto. So we'll select all these guys. And I just want to uh, pull those up just a little bit um, so that we have kind of a step up as we enter this, um, I'll turn my snaps off, as we enter this kind of secret, um, the secret kind of library entrance. Okay, so maybe something like that, looking pretty cool. Okay, um, the next thing I'll probably go ahead and do is um, start working on some of the top parts of this clock. Uh, so I can see my proportions are a little bit off uh, based on my kind of concept art. I wanna go ahead and grab the door object um, and then, uh, I'm sorry, not the door, the grandfather clock, and I'll stretch these guys out because I want this to be longer than the um, than the top part of these. I, I, I want the top part to be longer than this, and then I'm gonna grab my shelf too, and uh, I'll turn symmetry on, and I'll need to reselect that, and then I'll uh, get my move tool, and I can move that out symmetrically. So I'm not distorting that shape and uh, looking pretty good. So I'll grab this edge here and pull it up. Okay, so we're kind of getting this like archway and I'll select these two edges and, and uh, hitting Alt-C, I'm, I'm jumping to the, uh, let's see here, I'm jumping to the, um, the loop slice tool. So then I can pull those in. I can hit uniform so they're com completely symmetrical. And then I'll pull these up again and kind of create like this nice kind of archway. Um, and this is one of the things that I love about Moto. Um, getting ready to show you guys. Uh, I can add these, these extra loops, but then I can select a number of these here. And then I have an actual script that I'm running. Uh, it's called it's called the perfect circle script. So if I hit P, perfect circle, and then I hit open and I run that, uh, you can see that I create this awesome um, circular shape here for the clock face. And uh, I, I can't think of who at the moment in time created the script, but I'll add the link in the description so you guys can download that. Um, there's tons of great Moto scripts out there, and uh, this artist in particular has wrote so many great ones. Um, I'm going to shut off my symmetry real quick and kind of scale this up um, and then we can select some of these guys. Let me go back symmetry. We're turning this back on and I uh, just kind of want to scale or I'm sorry, move these up and kind of space this out just a little bit um, just to give us some room to actually work here and uh, looking pretty good. I want it to be just a little bit bigger. Um, sorry, we'll turn our symmetry off again then we'll scale this up. Just a bit, maybe move it up. So something like this. And then I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard, B as in boy, and then I can actually, uh, you know, with this extrude tool, you can push it in or you can actually bevel it. Um, and I'm sorry, it's the bevel tool, but you can do a lot of really cool extrusions with it. So um, I got it to a good point where I want it and then I can shift click and actually uh, repeat that operation and then pull it back and then shift click again and scale it inwards and then push it back. So I kind of get this rounded kind of clock um, area here. And then uh, I will click and select and then select the next polygon and hit L on the keyboard, select a loop. And then I will hit B and extrude that out. Okay, so that polygon bevel tool does a lot of really great things all in one and shift click and we'll scale those in kind of sharply and then pull it out so it's a little bit rounded. Um, pull it out just a little bit more. Okay, looking good. So something like this for a clock to actually sit in and then we'll create some more detail. Um, but then I'd like to also extrude this top part of the clock and we'll hit B and we'll pull it up a little bit. Okay, like so. Probably scale it outward. Maybe pull it down a little bit more. We kind of want to make this a little sharper. And then we'll hit um, shift click. 
again, shift click again, and again, and we kind of get this cool um, detail here on top. Shift click again, we'll pull it up, and one more time, scale it out, shift click, pull it up. Okay, so then we got this kind of detail here on the top part. And you can see it looks like this polygon here is disappearing. So, um, and this is no problem at all. Sometimes this will happen with the normals. Uh, basically, what you want to do is turn your symmetry back on. You can select that polygon face. Um, and then you can see it looks like it's flipped. And then you just hit F um, to flip it. Okay, flip it. There we go. Hit F. And um, we went ahead and fixed it, so it's back to normal now. And we can go ahead and pull these up and space these out a little bit. Looking good. Okay, so that would be like the top part of our entryway of our door. So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and we'll start um, adding more detail. I don't want to make these too long, uh, but we'll keep them flowing in a nice kind of manner. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.